Hi everybody, I'd like to introduce you to my new friend, the MQ3 Alcohol Sensor. This thing is wonderful for uh, breathalyzer circuits. Um, it's uh, easily interfaced with uh, uh, analog to digital converters, which is, and you can even throw it. Uh, you can use it with your Arduino, your your uh, your PIC, your your basic stamp, uh, any kind of microprocessor. It really is fantastic. And I gotta say, that, uh, I'm actually going to incorporate it into this circuit, which will be the breathalyzer that talks to you. Uh, I'm going to finish it in the next couple of weeks. I haven't had the chance to finish it yet. So, But that's not what this video is about. This video is to show you just how awesome the MQ3 alcohol sensor is. And for that, I'm going to have to get kind of drunk. So as you can see here, I've got a nice big cheap bottle of wine. And in the name of science, in the name of promoting my new product, along with my many other products that can be found at www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com uh, I'm going to show you the MQ3. So you calibrate the MQ3 using a potentiometer, uh, 5 volt source, really easy to configure. I've got it hooked up and calibrated so I've got about a default 56 or 560 millivolts on my multimeter. So I haven't had anything to drink yet, I'm just going to blow into it. You'll see a bit of a reaction but not much. So. As you can see, it says for about 57.57 volts. Let's just blow into it. Did it change? Not much. So now I'm going to stop. I'm going to drink this bottle, this glass of wine right here. And then I'm going to try it again. And then I'm going to drink a really, really big glass of wine. And then I'm going to try it again. And then I'm going to do the same thing and repeat and repeat until I saturate it. So, glass number one down. So, looks like my blood alcohol content went up quite a bit. If you want to actually really test it, take a bit of alcohol in your mouth, swish it around, and blow it directly in without swallowing, and you'll actually see uh, you'll actually see a huge reaction. But let's just wait. That was just a tiny glass. Let's get into the real stuff. Hey. Okay, so that's glass number two. Except for that was a full glass, and that's a big glass, so uh, let's blow into the sensor. <laughs> now I haven't let it properly absorb into my system, so that might be a bit overkill. Instead of letting this drag on while I get um, inebriated, what I'll do is I will take one sip of this wine, Swish it around, and I just saturated it. You see, so you have to drink a lot to saturate it. Uh, that that wasn't actually an accurate reading because it hadn't uh, absorbed into my bloodstream. So I was just trying to uh, spare you the uh, sloppiness of uh, the sloppiness of the, this demonstration. So as you can see, the uh, this means this this is great for electronic projects in school for fun. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with this. And let me just give you a heads up on what this is in the future. What I'm what this is this is an ADC. This is where my pick goes. APR ninety six hundred, which can be found on www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, what I've done is programmed six different funny different things and it, indicating how drunk you are. You blow into the sensor, it, it, uh, it takes the ADC reading, says, hey, you're this drunk, and it'll play whatever's at that certain level. So this is going to be a fun video. Keep your eyes out for it. It's going to come out within the next few weeks. But again, it's going to be using the MQ3 alcohol sensor. Great for Arduino, great for PIC, great for basic stamp, great for just about everything. Uh, if you're looking for circuit engineering, go to www.engineeringshock.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us a, a message through uh, YouTube or www.engineeringshock.com, or even through eBay, which can be our eBay store is found through uh, electroniclessons.com. So come on down, have a good time. This is a lot of fun to play with.